Right, uh, first of all, I'd like to look at uh, difference in two squares from a, a different aspect. I want to show where it actually comes from. To do that, we need to look at x minus y all squared and x plus y all squared. OK, x minus y multiplied by x minus y. Now let's multiply this out. x times x gives x squared. x times minus y gives minus xy. Yeah, y times x minus y times x is minus xy, and minus y times minus y gives plus y squared. Okay, bringing the terms together, x squared minus xy and minus xy gives minus 2xy plus y squared. OK, let's do the next one, x plus y squared. Just expand it out, x plus y times x plus y. Okay, multiply that like before, x times x gives x squared. x times plus y gives plus xy. y times x gives plus xy. y times y gives y squared. And if we collect the terms as before, x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. Now looking at the two uh, expansions, we've got this 2xy and minus 2xy in the way. Now that isn't really of any use. So what we're going to do is take x plus y from one expression and x minus y from the other expression and multiply them out. Let's just see what we get. OK, x times x gives x squared. x times plus y gives plus xy. y times x minus y times x is minus xy. minus y times y gives minus y squared. Now look at the xy and the minus xy. They cancel out. So we're left with x squared minus y squared. So writing this again, x squared minus y squared is equal to the product of x plus y and x minus y. OK, let me just give you a quick example of, of this. I will be following up with some some more examples. This is just to just to show you its its use. Okay, 101 squared minus 99 squared. That might take you a while to calculate that out if you do it conventionally. Let's try it this way. 101 minus 99 multiplied by 101 plus 99. Okay, using our format. Well, 101 minus 99 gives us 2. 101 plus 99 gives us 200. 2 times 200 gives us 400. 